In this interesting episode, good people, we're going to be talking about the following interesting things. One, a Casa Chiefs coach has actually flew to Europe to acquire his coaching qualifications. Um, then, we're going to be talking about Benny McCart. It has been explained by Manchester United why they signed Benny McCart. Um, we're going to be talking about Tim Sugars. He, he has taken a jab at Casa Chiefs. By jab, I mean pop, pop. At Kaiser Chiefs, and you know, he, it was unprovoked, like every like somebody said, he was unprovoked, uh, but he did that. Nevertheless, um, the last one I think we're gonna be talking about him, he, he, he has his opinion about how other clubs have signed and how that can actually change the competition in the DSTV Premiership. So, are you interested to know more about what I've just told you? Then please stick around to those that will stick around. Guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below, good people, it is free of charge. Now, without wasting much of your time, good people, um, one of your valuable time. Let's start with Oman Noba to good people. Um, speaking to, speaking about the, the way that other teams have recruited and the way that other teams have signed players in this transfer window, he has got some quite interesting things to say about that. He has got this to say, um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Oman Noba Mnuti, Oman Noba Mnuti, Oman Noba Mnuti. He says the following, in our... In our, in our failures in the Champions League, to a certain extent, I felt maybe it is our league was a little bit more intense and other teams were pushing other, other teams and us. We could have had a better chance in the Champions League, right? Now, it continues to say, we've been doing well in the group stages, but we will, we will remember that we have to win the, the competition. Sundowns and Captain City are the representative, representative of the country, so they have the bigger responsibility to make sure the trophy comes up. That can come as a result of the level of competition in our premiership, he says. Uh, Kaza Chiefs on the Pirate have improved their squad. You will have Captain City and Real AM that did exceptionally well last season. You still have Stellenbosch. You look at how Amazulu and Sekukuna United have recruited. It looks like it's going to be a tighter and a stronger season. Everybody says we're going to fight against Sandals. They are making mistake because they also have to fight among themselves. It's going to be interesting season. A season that may also uh, capacitate our performances in the Champions League, said Oman Noba Mniti. And I'm, I'm not sure, guys, if you see where Manoba Mniti is coming from, is coming from as far as uh, that statement is concerned. Uh, but it, it is quite interesting. Ne? It is quite interesting because he says that, um, okay, he says that because the the the, 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 the in the league the, the the situation might be very tight and very tense, and you know what I'm saying. That might actually be the reason that they might go out and and excel out there. Do you do you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me let me explain this a little bit now. If you train in a very tough environment, tough 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 environment. So when you get a lighter environment, you then perform better because you are used to tougher situations than where you are performing. That's the narrative. That's the concept in which he's coming from. Then there was a question. Why did Manchester United sign O Benny McCart? That question has been answered. Manchester United has actually given, in fact, the head coach at Manchester United has given us reasons why Benny McCart. They've got this to say. Ah, but yeah, Tinanjo will always would like to say congratulations to Benny Makati, apart from everything. But then he says, the man he says the following, there was still one place in our coaching staff that I wanted to fill. He was telling in Man Manchester United TV, someone with a different voice, Benny is that person. He has experience as a manager. He was a coach in the professional level and was a former striker really successful as really, really successful striker as well uh, he will focus on the positioning and attacking i'm not saying only strikers but also the the integration from the full backs and the midfielders our way of play as 
has to be dynamics. So, I, I guess get, you guys are given the reasons why Benny Makati, because a lot of you guys would have been asking, why Benny Makati? Why not other people? But Tina, what we stay here to say is that Benny Makati, oh, you know what I'm saying? We are saying, Zekete, 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 that's all we're going to say. Nevertheless, remember I told you that there was a Casa Chips coach, or oh, I told you about a Casa Chips coach who has actually jetted to Europe to acquire his qualification. Well, I know, I knew you wanted to know that. Don't worry, let's get into that one. There's this coach, he, go, he is actually a brother to the Tolonia. He has, he will be obtaining his qualifica coaching qualification in Europe. As we speak, he is in Europe. Tell people in Europe that I'm coming. If not the end of this year, earlier this year, earlier next year, I will be there in Europe. Believe it or not, I'll speak as a joke, but believe it or not, I will be in Europe. Ha! Yeah, okay, let's get into this one. Kata Chiefs Junior Coach TD Soletsolonyane has jetted out to Europe to further his coaching qualification. The Sia crew has been informed. So credit to the Sia crew, credit to Sokalatu. The younger brother of Kata Chiefs legend Rene Letsolonyane has been part of the Amakosi coaching staff since he hung up his boot in 2017. The Tolonyane uh, started off his uh, started off in the club uh, under under 15 before graduated to the under 17 coach in 2022, a position he still holds to to this day. Now, the latest news reaching the Sierra Crew desk is that the 30-year-old coach has jetted out to Ireland, inland, where he is set to complete his UEFAB license through the Irish FA. The trip comes two years after he was initially, it, after it was initially planned. Betolonyane was scheduled to complete the qualification in May 2020. However, COVID-19 brought an extra half to those plans. Though he is set to complete it in having jetted out of the country last week. Letelonyane, a once promising player, had a professional contract with the club. However, injuries, uh, injuries, yeah, they destroyed his career. We saw him retire from the game age or at the age of 25. The CR crew has been informed that the young young Letelonyane uh, forms part of the long-term plans at the club. However, he could make up a technical team position in the years to come. Wow, what a very much interesting story. I, I believe a lot of you guys deserve to, you know what I'm saying? Like, Zekete Nyana, you know what I'm saying? Zekete, Zekete, oh, Zekete, ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, you guys really celebrate people, you know, it is always good. Like, I, I like the, the way Kazuchi does things. They, 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 they took this guy and they say, okay, we're going to invest in you, get your qualifications, get everything. They, you know how how important is this thing? It is growing the culture in the club. It is slowly but surely growing the Kyrgyz culture. You have people who understand the culture, but not only just people, but people who are qualified. That is the most interesting thing about the situation. Talking of Kyrgyz, there was a man who was unprovoked, unprovoked decided to take a jab at Kaza Chibs. He decided to disrespect Kaza Chibs in, in a simple term. That man goes by the name Tim Subas. Has got this to say as he was disrespecting Kaza Chibs. Hey, mm -mm, mm -mm. He said, <laughs> Some call themselves Amakos, but they don't work with Amakos. Yeah, okay. I, I, <laughs> I, I, okay, let me repeat the statement, Diane. Some call themselves Amakos, but they don't work with Amakos. I can even get my NetBank Cup trophy and show them we are blessed by Amakos. Yeah. Tim Sugars! Tim Sugars! You don't want to disrespect Castle Chiefs. I'm telling you. Uh, not long ago, ne? <laughs> I was listening to 
uh, just at the end of the season now. The last interview where my where Kulule Gonkehu at Itiski TV was interviewing Umachaka. So he asked the question, Baroka was relegated. And then he says, You must know my brother. He started to name people who disrespected Kazu Chiefs. And then they are no longer in, in the in the in the, in the DSTV premiership. He says, You disrespect Kazu Chiefs. Some one day something will happen. You know, you know what I'm saying? He said <laughs> Yeah, but nevertheless, I was laughing because, honestly speaking, let them continue disrespecting Carter Chiefs. My Chaka said they usually get paid. So we don't know how Team Sugazi will get paid. But yeah, I haven't told you everything, guys. I'm expecting you guys to get into the comment section below. So tell me what you thought about the news that I've just brought before your attention today. And until the next episode, I want you to engage with me in the comment section below. Let the conversation begin right now. And you know what I'm saying? Until the next episode, please take care.